everyone, Vasive here with Quarantine. We almost got the full team together. It's, like, it's exciting. How you guys doing? That's also to you guys that are playing the games. How you guys doing? It's been a minute since we got to play. Good, good. I'm excited to play. We haven't played for two, three weeks? Three weeks. Something like that. At least some of you th over three weeks, right? It's been about a month and a half, maybe. Holy crap. Um, I guess uh, we'll have to do a little bit of a, a preface here. We might back up slightly in the story, uh, just so people can have the chance to interact with what's going on as well. Um, but I guess the only people that could actually recap from last time would be Lushu or Eva. Do either of you want to provide some sort of a recap? No? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's shy. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. I yeah, know, I know. To be honest with you, <laughs> I, I had to go back and look through some stuff, so I feel that. Um, oh, okay, I'll I'll do a quick one. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys ran across a helpful little uh, demon person that kind of gave you uh, a run over Bastion's Bay. Uh, kind of led you to some uh, merchants and uh, places of interest. Uh, you guys met a, at least Eva and uh, Lushu met uh, a lovely little hunter man and his dog, Darlin. Uh, the, then you guys made your way to the cave of, not the cave of the oracle, uh, the goddess. Oh, of course, the one person I'm drop, uh, name dropping. Um, but, uh met the priestess of the goddess there. Uh, she's the goddess of the sea. Um, and kind of tried to get her blessing there. Uh, Lushu felt a little bit touched um, as to what happened there, I guess. Uh, and then uh, towards evening, uh, the kappa of the of Bastion Bay uh, called a Palaver and essentially addressed uh, the people of the town or the city that of the uh, the attacks that have been occurring over the past couple months um, and how to take care of the nuisance that is the shark attacks uh, and called forth any adventurers or able-bodied hands that want to take on this uh, this task and for some, uh, you know, a, a payment. Um, after they... Talked to a bunch of people. Uh, they took down names, and uh, they are deciding to hold a little, you know, group huddle to find out uh, what's going to go on from here. And you guys kind of progressed beyond that point and decided that you were going to go on the adventure. I think that's where we're going to back up slightly. So, um, someone has me open. There we go. <laughs> I appreciate the, the lurk, though. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Something, something freaked me out. Um, so that's where we're going to back no, up. Me, my... Oh, you're good. We're going to give uh, some opportunity for uh, at least uh, a demon and uh, Corva to maybe interact if they want. Um, as you guys can see, uh, we don't have Nat here tonight. Uh, she got called in for work, unfortunately, so we'll have to do some finagling to figure out how uh, to get her involved uh, once she's able to return. Um, but essentially, uh, for the people that weren't here last time to involve in that, um, there was there was a call to the tavern. Anyone willing to come in uh, to talk to Kappa and her first mate or, or lieutenant uh, to essentially pitch their, I don't know, terms for payment and whether or not they're able to help the uh, the adventure. I need a better word for than adventure here. Um, let's we need we need some sort of sounds here. Hold on. We're 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 in, we're in a tavern, and it's it's kind of night. You know. There you go. There. There should be some people talking, but you know, it's not that crowd. Okay, that's a little too crowded. It's fine. Okay, so from what I remember, um, I had just gotten somebody on my boat. Yeah, so, uh, I guess 
to catch you guys back up. Uh, you essentially what happened is uh, Tia's run uh, was sank um, by the the assault of the shark. Uh, you guys were able to like rescue some people from uh, the ship and get them back to shore. And in terms of for I think you grabbed a demon as well. So demon and, and Corva are technically like kind of together on the boat and just to kind of catch you guys up uh, we can figure out what you have done in since that was like midday or something when that occurred um, now it's getting towards evening it's like 7 or 8 o'clock at night and uh, you guys uh, Captain Mar Mariosa called forth the, the palaver saying hey anyone willing to go help us take care of this issue um, you guys can decide what your characters probably would have done uh, throughout the day after you know, getting to Bastion Bay, I guess. Um, I guess D Demon, what would have uh, what would have Demon been doing in Bastion Bay uh, throughout the day after being, I guess, rescued from the sinking ship? Um, I would say that he's uh, gonna, you know, sit on the boat. He might think, well, I've got a boat to myself. Might as well have a couple of drinks. See where this goes. The which boat? And the... then when the others come back, I'm going to assess the situation and what to do next. Are you talking the rescue boat? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the rescue boat is where Corva is. Uh, Corva, you know, pulls you up onto the little rowboat. Um, and essentially, if you just fast forward a little bit, uh, I, I suppose you guys could, if you choose, you could RP this out. Um. But essentially what's going to happen is it's going to slightly fast forward and uh, you guys are now on land. You're in Bastion Bay and uh, whatever you're deciding to do at this time is completely up to you guys. What about you, Corva? Uh, I, I, uh, I tell Demon it's, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad you have gotten to you in time. Um, uh, after that, I know it was me, my headphones. Oh no. Also, Pancake, you're a thing is acting okay. They are dead. Okay, I can't hear anyone, but Serial, do you have some spare headphones? One sec, yes, yes, I'll bring you over to you now, one sec. Alright, we'll uh, get that handled in a second. I don't know why, uh, Pancake, why your image isn't reacting. I guess we can deal with it. Um, there we go. I think Murphy's Law is in effect. Also, you're quiet. I'm going to turn you up. Doink. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully, that will work. Oops. I need to get some of my stuff open. Here we go. That sounds a little bit better. Yeah. Nice yeah, little quiet tavern here. Are you good? Oh, doesn't have headphones on. Excuse me. Um, I guess what we can do is we can catch up. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, I have hiccups and sneeze and allergies, and this sucks. Um, okay. So we'll say, um, 
since Eva and Lucio were already a part of the, the palaver, we can, uh, we'll say, actually, you know what? Um, we'll say Corva and Demon, uh, essentially, can, are like, you know, in line uh, to come ta talk to the, uh, the Kappa uh, once they can. Okay, let me change the settings on that, and then I am done. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a hot it second sounds, to see if... Sounds good, okay. Let's, let's go see this, uh, this Kappa person. Yes. Okay, great. I'm can you hear back, us? I'm back, I'm back. You can hear us? Sweet. I can hear Perfect. Okay. So I was just telling, um, oh, stuff on my pants. I was just telling Corva that essentially you and Corva, since you kind of, you know, Corva kind of pulled you aboard, I'm assuming you guys kind of, you know, made your way around the town. Um, and, uh, since this, uh, palaver got ca called, uh, there's like kind of, there was like a line of people, uh, waiting to talk to, uh, the Kappa and decide who's gonna try to help out with this adventure. And, uh, we'll, we'll say you you two are together. Um, you, you can notice all sorts of different kinds of uh, able-bodied people. Um, you know, some uh, seasoned sailors, some, uh, looks like, adventurers. Mostly people just looking for, or that are hired hands. Uh, nothing out the ordinary. Um, and, uh, in terms of, you know, time-wise, uh, Eva and Lushu have come and gone, and uh, they've, they're in the next room or whatever, uh, waiting for the next, I guess, orders. Uh, but Corva and uh, Demon, you guys walk up towards, uh, uh, you, you are now in the tavern. This is where the meeting is being held place. Uh, the tavern has a large open window uh, to allow fresh air in from the red square. Um, the interior is all varnished wood and uh, glistening brass and uh, waiting staff wear crisp white shirts with brown leather breeches. Uh, towering shelves filled with innumerable, bottle, innumerable bottles of rum uh, sit behind a long bar. Heavy red curtains at the back of the, the tavern uh, lead to private booths. Uh, essentially, uh, you guys walk into this tavern. Uh, you were standing in line uh, to talk what's going on here. Um, you kind of hear, you know, uh, the, the shoutings and stuff of uh, ideas that people were shouting out. And then... Uh, Kappa Mariosa and uh, Jason essentially are awaiting any volunteers uh, in one of their private booths. And uh, now the spot is opened up. You two can uh, go in and, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, speak your terms or, you know, ask any questions and uh, see what kind of is, is available to you here. Um... So I go ahead and I greet I greet the uh, the Kappa very politely. Okay. Um, um. and <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um <laughs> crap. Uh as you guys are walking up, uh the the wooden benches are piled high with uh cushions. Uh, this is obviously, you know, they're, they're not just private booths. They're private booths for you know important people, and uh, they are they are nicely nicely made and uh, crafted booths. Um, and uh, these cushions they encircle a uh, smooth round table. Uh, there's a couple low burning oil lanterns hanging from the wall uh, that provide light, and uh, there's a small cabinet stocked with drinks and glasses. Um, and uh, as she sees you walking up, she c greets you guys uh, with a smile and. Help yourselves to uh, some drinks, and uh, she begins making uh, you know, just gestures for you guys to sit down uh, in the booth. Um, I politely inform them that I would prefer to stand, as that is a more defendable position. Okay. Uh, she will. S I forgot the. Is this uh, that? That's gonna have to work, I guess. Maybe, maybe less, maybe less of that. I don't know. Does that sound fine? There we go. I don't know. That, that'll have to work. Uh, she, as you wish. It, but I assure you, yeah. it's far more comfortable to sit. But do as you please. Now, what can you bring to the table? Well, I am a... Uh... I have been a... Crap. 
trying to figure figure out the best phrasing of this. Um, well, I was and still am a rogue. I am on a mission to find more information. But I do uh, give out my skills for missions that might lead me uh, to more information. And seeing as though that, that I personally saw the creatures that were attacking the boat, I am in intrigued on finding more information about them. She uh, yeah. leans back and thinks to herself a little bit, and then says, I hope you do not under, uh, underestimate the danger of this mission. If there is a... Uh, if there's information uh, you're looking for, this mission may put that to a swift halt at the, at the sign of your death. Just letting you be aware. Mm. Mm. And I'm, I shall let you be aware that I have already been looking for five, almost seven years now. I shall continue with my journey. If it leads me to the end, I shall meet my lover. Very well. And what about you, sir? She dresses over to, to Demon. I have many skills, but I, I don't like to uh, let people know about my skills. Just as I don't like people to know about my weaknesses. You know, it lets people... It leaves me open. Um, but I can assure you I have the skills that you need. Um, I'm confident. I know I know, I can do it. I, I've been under attack by these before. I'm pretty sure after experiencing them, I can get a handle on it. She, her, her eyebrows kind of furrow. And uh, she leans over to, to Jason. And... Uh, they're, they whisper a little bit amongst themselves. And then, uh, Marisa looks behind you guys and seeing that the, uh, the line is growing, has grown short. She says, uh... Very well. I guess, uh, if your skills are not up to snuff, then, uh, your parish will go unnoticed. Anyways. Fair enough. <laughs> and she, uh, she, she, Thanks for the vote of confidence. She, she clasps her hands together and leans forward to you. And says, let's just get down to the brass tacks here, shall we? There's been numerous attacks over the past few weeks, uh, even more than people know. Uh, ships have disappeared with their entire car cargo, crew missing, sometimes bodies washed ashore on nearby beaches. Uh, there's been confirmed reports of the old man has been seemingly killed twice, at least, of now, yet still remains. Did, wait, 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 back up. Did you say the same man has died twice? Uh, the old man. Uh, that, that, that's the name of the, the, the shark that's been attacking. Uh -oh. he's, he's, a, he's a legendary shark in these parts. How severe are the um, attacks? Um, how severe are the wounds? Obviously you mean like the bodies that wash up? I'm talking about size of bite marks. I'm talking about... Oh, no. Like, <laughs> it was that massive shark, remember? He swallowed whole uh, oh, yeah, another person. The, <laughs> the bodies that wash up are essentially just drowned. Okay. Uh, sometimes so there look like there's spear coming. marks or spear punctures, but, uh, you know, they, they can't okay. either confirm nor deny if that was uh, essentially fighting amongst the crew or what, but essentially... If the shark gets you, you're eaten. Fair enough. Shark bait. No. <laughs> Do you want the shark, shark dead, caught, or sent away? Uh, Jason speaks up and says, "We the shark just needs to be dealt with. Whether or not that means uh, banishment, that means relocating it, it just... I don't know. Hell... Finding a place to bury it for all I care. It needs to stop. All right. It shall be done. I, uh, I nod my acceptance at that. Okay. Um, as, uh, you guys are discussing here, uh, a frantic, uh, lady, th this part, uh, Eva and Lushu, um, you, you can overhear this as well because you were a part of this. Uh, a frantic lady comes, uh, wa walking up, or running up to the, the little private booth, 
uh, essentially ignoring the, the dwarf at the bar and being like, no, 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 you're not allowed in there. She comes running in. Uh, she's upset. Uh, I'm angry. Um, that She's uh, crawling out. Uh, my husband, my husband, he hasn't returned home and, and I demand to speak to Kappa. She knows what's going on. And uh, she's kind of trying to be, she's trying, essentially being held back by a couple of the guards at uh, the front of the private booth. And uh, Kappa Mar Mariosa kind of just like waves her guards away. And says, let her in, let her in. And uh, uh, essentially, uh, the, the the woman uh, finally getting you know allowed in, kind of brushes herself off and uh, pushes herself up in front and slams her hands on the front of the table and uh, says, "Baltar." has not come home. And, uh, essentially, I guess, what, how would that work? Um, she says, well, that is, that is quite interesting indeed. Has, uh, he left any indication as to where he, he could have disappeared to? Has he, uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just essentially, uh, she's was accusing Captain Mario. So, what was that? I said, was he on a ship for work? Oh, you you asked that. Say, she kind of looks at you strangely, but not recognizing you, she kind of puts together that. Oh, I I don't. You wouldn't know this if I if you're not part of the town. She's like, no, he uh he he's the lighthouse keeper. Would he have left and let me see? Would he have left? Is that what you said? Yeah. Is there any reason why he would have left and gone near to the danger? Of course not. He's, he's a simple man working the lighthouse, making sure ships can come in and go safely. He should have been home hours ago. Would you like us to go check the lighthouse? See if we can see a sign of him? Be... I would be greatly appreciative. But it's... But the Kappa shouldn't be just sitting on this. And she kind of looks over at uh, Marisa, Mariosa accusatively, accusatively, accusatorily. One of those words. Um, <laughs> and uh, essentially trying to get, you know, the, the lighthouse is important. Um, but trying to get her involved. So if he's not at work, then the lighthouse isn't working. So this could cause more shipwrecks, and more people could fall victim to the shot. Possibly, yes. Okay, I think we need to figure this out. We need to go to the lighthouse. Well, have those, um... What are... Where were those sea monsters called? They were called something. Oh, the marrow? That's it. Yeah, the marrow. Yeah, yeah, the ones that were attacking. I gone anywhere near the, the lighthouse. Uh, they... Well, how, we wouldn't know that. We haven't been there yet. Mm -hmm. Let me ask... Well, let me rephrase that. Have there been any sightings of the marrow around the lighthouse within the last week or so? Not that we're aware of. I think we should go there and check his records. Are there written records that he keeps there? Possibly. Okay. I always like a mystery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I say we, we go for the, towards the lighthouse and figure out the mystery there, gang. Yes. Uh, Jason speaks up. Um, it says, uh, "The lighthouse can wait. The real threat here is the the old man. They may be connected. That's possible. And if the light, but and if, the lighthouse if we know where the old man is at, we should strike hard and fast, should we not? That is indeed correct. But what about any ships that are due to come to?" Uh, shoreline 
uh, Marius speaks up and he's like, That shouldn't be a problem. There's been a, a halt on all uh, leaving port uh, since these attacks began. Okay, then I suggest we go by what you believe is the priority. Which is the shot. Very well. Please sign these. And uh, essentially, she just hands you a couple papers uh, saying that, you know, Bastion Bale and its leaders are not held liable in the event of your death or dismemberment or any other horrible things that may occur to you undertaking this mission. Um, it also uh, mentions, you know, uh, a reward of, you know, 100 gold per pieces uh, per person, um, free room and board um, indefinitely if you were able to succeed in the mission and uh, possible uh, magic item in case, uh, you know, it's, it is deemed worthy and there's proof of termination and how would you say proof of term, a permanent termination of the shark unalived okay. unalived yes <laughs> um and she gestures uh to the the back of the room and uh because it, and um the uh, the rest of the uh, they they make their way through the rest of the the group that are coming through, and the towards the back is a group of people that have uh, I guess been deemed uh, skilled enough, skilled enough, or yeah, something for uh, to undertake this mission. So um, you notice there is a uh, half elf there as well, um, kind of big poofy red hairs. Um, kind of keep him to himself. There's a, also a, uh, a darker, uh, elven person with a hood, uh, and they're all just kind of sitting in the back and drinking, uh, so their drinks and, uh, just waiting for, uh, further orders. And that, that, that would essentially be just Eva and Lushu that are sitting there waiting. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we'll catch you up, <laughs> Lushu. Essentially, um, Demon, Demon, and Corva are now walking into the the room that you and Eva are in, and it seems like you four are some of the the adventurers that uh, have been allowed or deemed worthy of undertaking. There's also the uh, the lookout that was uh, on the Tia's run. Uh, he's also in the room, uh, Rook. Rook, that was his name. Rook is there. Um, he, he volunteered uh, to lend his eyes. Uh, he says he's obviously he's not much of a fighter, but he can awful offer his his eagle eyes, as it were, um, and to see if uh, he can be in assistance that way. So, I guess we walk over to the two that we were gestured at to join, <clears throat> and um, I can kind of tell, uh, tell that from the hood and the state of his clothes that I'm working with a fellow rogue, so I decide to see if my hunch is correct and um, use thieves can't. Uh, to get a message of hello, uh, I am t uh, friendly, um, not an enemy. Um, mm. I'm trying to think of what I could. So uh, th essentially, thieves cunt is uh, using it's words. A message. Or yeah, symbols, like so. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't want to. I'm not going to spoil anything. But essentially, uh, you could okay, well. you could say something simple that's like, oh man. You know, it's it's dry out today, and essentially that means that, you know, th there's going to be, you know, someone's going to come poison the water hole or something. <laughs> okay. Well, um, Demon um, just puts his hand out straight to, to shake hands. Well, could we essentially, like, um, if you said sign, then I, I make a symbol with, like, my hand that is... Uh, are you you're okay, part yeah. of a, a rogue yeah you're part of a rogue guild aren't you Corva? Uh, yeah 
Okay. Yes, I was part of a criminal and thief. Yeah, okay. basically. Well, to be fair, I've got the criminal and thief background mm -hmm. as well, so I'd probably be aware. So I would say that whatever sort, whatever sort of symbol you pulled, I'm guessing would be recognized as that. Sort yeah, of I, I'll say of that. The guild. You'll be aware of whatever. <laughs> you're aware that she's part of some sort of a criminal organization. I'm, I'm just going to throw up devil horns and we'll call it a day. <laughs> and Luke's just going to look around and just... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just put yes. him back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, uh... And Demon, you, you you come up and shake one someone's hand? Yep, just, just go straight in for the, the manly handshake. Who, who are you going in to shake? I'll go for Lucy first. So he's this and shaking a hand at the same time? Yeah. Just all of a sudden getting bombarded by these other people? <laughs> okay, uh, what's Eva doing? Observing, if anything. A little wary of, of people just suddenly coming up. Yeah, just like, uh. yeah, so, like, yo. But, um, <laughs> oh, thank God they're leaving me alone. <laughs> a little bit maybe in the back of her head little, um but she's she knows that especially like in towns and around people and stuff she needs to have some sort of modicum of manners so it you know if they direct their attention towards her she will be civil okay I mean, she did just lose almost all of her party members to be fair That's why she, she tries not to get attached and look what happens yeah I can see that well, uh, Demon goes up to Eva and and shakes, goes up to shake Eva's hand, um, but I can tell she's kind of wary, so makes it a bit lighter than the handshake she just had with Lu he just had with Luxu, Lucio even. Okay. I uh, I I nod towards Eva. I can sense that she's kind of wary, so I'm gonna respect the space. Um. Okay. Uh, Eva, how do you respond to the, the handshaking coming your way? Uh, probably confused for the first, like, second before she's like, oh yeah, wait, people do that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, she, you know, gives a modestly firm handshake, like, yeah, you know, nice to meet you, um, type of handshake, and, like, introduces herself quietly. Okay. Uh, do you guys take a, a seat near them, or where do you guys, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, I'm gonna take a seat opposite. Okay. Uh, Corva, same with you. I'll, I'll join Demon on in the room with us, the, the booth. Uh, it's just you four. Um, there's, uh, the, I guess, uh, Corva and Demon would only the people be aware of of the lookout that was on Tia's run. Um, and there is a, uh, also the, the heavy plated, uh, human that was, uh, on Tia's run as well. Okay. Are there any guards or anything? Any um, authority? well, there, there's a couple guards standing guard, uh, to the, to How the many? side room. Uh, two also Kappa Mariosa and Jason are right out there. Okay then. All right then. So I looked a little bit into it when I was making Lucy with the whole criminal background and whatnot. And being from the same sort of guild as Corva, although he wasn't part of a guild, he still followed that, you know, the the teachings. Um, he would at this moment he'd try to have some sort of one-upmanship against the other criminal because that's how they would do things <laughs> like so may i um in thieves khan i'm gonna say um, um how would i put it um the bricks on these walls seem rather old and <laughs> what i'm trying to say is um all right then. Pickpocket contest. Okay. See, so this is what you can do for future, for thieves con. Right just just say something. It doesn't matter. It, like try to make it maybe a little bit close, but say what you say so like other people can hear it.
but then explain what thieves con that that's awesome i let's do it that way that way it doesn't like bog us down Cool. Awesome. Um, so it doesn't got to be like, right, uh, I'm talking like through the campaign. So like yeah, in certain exactly. situations, it could be like mm -hmm. something, 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 your turn. Yeah. <laughs> and then they've got a, because yeah, that is what they would do for fun in the organization. So um, okay. I'm, I'll portray that message over. And um, as I'm saying it, I'll gesture over to the two guards that are standing by the door. Okay. Um, we gotta do something so, to pass the time. Also, so maybe. you guys, you know, I'll let you guys uh, think about it for a minute. But uh, think about what the name of the organization that you guys were a part of at some point. Well, I know mine was Titan's Hand. There you go. Okay, so you you understand uh, the Titan's Hand organization then, Serial. Mm-hmm. Um, because yeah, even though Lucy was never officially part of any guild because he you know his, his backstory is hard for him to trust and stay in one place he still studied each of them and learned on the way so he, he doesn't know it fully but he understands the customs understands like you know the belief and whatnot and some of them he follows some of them he doesn't he takes bits and pieces of each to make his own sort of belief but he likes the games and i just accidentally made my chair go down and it really scared me i hate when i have to one <laughs> raise it back up real quick there we go okay uh so so eva and demon <laughs> eva and demon overhear this you are still far too young to uh appreciate the finer things actually i think he's and older he's, than you yeah, he's, i'm 142. yeah i think he's pretty much older than you <laughs> I, I, well, I was also... She looks like that and goes, in, be quiet, child. Out, okay, we'll just say that <laughs> as far as, like, guild experience, I, I was... Yeah, in terms of thief experience. <laughs> in terms of thief experience. Okay. She was always by himself with the fending for himself, so, I, you know, you had guild members yeah. to assist. Eva and a Demon over here, this, uh, the, the bricks look a little old. You guys overhear that, by the way. I'm just looking at the wall, thinking they're looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? It's just a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, are you actually going to attempt to try to pickpocket this this soldier? Yeah, yeah, but it's not going to. But the aim of it isn't to do it for gain. It's to get some of the silliest items you can and try to outdo the other person. Um, so yeah, rather than yeah, going for gold or anything like, like that. Them yeah, or something stupid like that. Like you could take a comb or you could take something off of their person, which okay. is just funny to the other um, person playing. Okay. Um, I say uh, if you're going to do it first, then roll sleight of hand. Um, he is, I will say that they're in... Partial plate, um, like shoulders. Um, they have a leather waist uh, band. They have uh, metal greaves, and they have uh, chainmail shirts. Okay. Oh, that wasn't me. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you dude, you rolled a five. I like that. You rolled yes, a five and got a thirteen. <laughs> That's bananas. Well, here's, nice. uh, here's mine. No <laughs> yeah. Two fives. I fucking love it. You love that. <laughs> oh. That's <laughs> funny. Um Okay. You uh I I'm assuming that you we, both we, we assess the situation. <laughs> we we shake our head. How come you don't have Hold on a minute. Both look at each other and just like we fucked up. Nah. <laughs> Rolling on, on another target. When we when, um, when we attempt to pickpocket and they start to look at us, we, we just join hands and start doing like the Dragon Ball Z fusion. Yeah, thing. right. Just try and throw them off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um, th there seems to be a missing brick in the ceiling. Hold on a minute. There's a. Oh, you guys are talking. Go for it. <laughs> the, 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 um, the, yeah. we, we we should probably not do these marks. At the current time, yeah, Lucia's gonna look up and be like, "I wonder where it went." We should let's go, let's go look for it. It's gonna give us an excuse to mm -hmm. turn around and just <laughs> away. Essentially, go back to our seat. Just, just looking up, still like scratching his head. Huh? 
Uh, I'm just checking, um, why you um, don't have per- Your so character they... has something goofy. Cereal. I have- why um, do I have two stars next to perception? Double proficiency bonus in perception. Because you have expertise in your perception, but I thought you should have two. Ooh. Oh, now, cause- okay. I have a question as well. Never mind. You're- you're- you're set, Lushu. What's up? Because looking at my character sheet, I have a plus eight for stealth as well. Yep. That's why, that's why you have double stars next to your stealth and sleight of hand. Okay. It was it was a plus five earlier, so. Um, okay. but yeah, so so you're set. Lushu only has one because he, he chose to have uh, double his perception in his thieves' tools. Yes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> um... Cool. So you both try to walk up and um, I guess also roll. Uh, do we do we do a roll? So essentially, you're you're walking Would up. Would it be you're... a performance check? Well, like because you guys have decent persuasion. you have decent sleight of hand rolls, but these guards are they're on alert. They're obviously looking and pr protecting this area. Um, so I'm wondering if you should run, roll, like, a stealth to, like, sneak up to him. Because it's a small little room, right? I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, go ahead and both roll stealth. Nice roll. Oh, yes. oh my god, 26. Yeah. Oh, so close to 18! <laughs> so close to an 18, dude. Yeah, you, dude, you guys both almost rolled the same rolls again. Um, so... Right. That would have been hilarious. Luke, you, uh, you, you both kind of <laughs> walk up. Uh, to try to pit pocket these these guards, and uh, as you are stealthing up, Lucio, you uh, happen to hit the one of the, the spoons that are on the, the your table, and it hits the floor. Ding ding ding! ding. Spoons. And uh, one of the guards looks back spoons. and just sees you guys. He, you're you know you're not obviously trying to do like a hunchy crouch thing. You're just trying to move qu quietly. Um, so he just thinks that you like knock something over. And he kind of. Shakes his head at you like, what the hell? Um, but, <laughs> but essentially, uh, just goes back to looking at, <laughs> for, looking for issues, I guess, and uh, see, watching for any sort of uh, sign from Mariosa that they need to do anything. Uh, but as uh, Pancake, or uh, sorry, I, you're not Pancog anymore. Uh, as Corva. Is walking up to uh, the, the other guard. Um, <laughs> before you are able to get to the guard, your, your hand is reaching up, trying to look for something of interest to pluck. Uh, Jason starts comes walking in uh, to the area. He's got like a stack of old papers and uh, a quill and uh, you know some ink various items and he, and he pushes his way through the guards who just kind of step aside sitting there with their spears and uh i, I guess they wouldn't be spears they're they're more piratey they, they're cutlasses um they're just kind of sitting there arms crossed and uh he yeah. walks in he's like thank you all for waiting let's get bound get down to business here and takes out uh, unfurls one of the uh, like a, a bigger map area uh, it's crudely drawn um, it looks fairly old. It's tattered. Uh, lays it out, and it's been rolled so much that, you know, it can't be laid flat. So he pulls out one of his daggers and kink, kink, and just, like, staples it down uh, to hold it in place. And he says, um, uh, <laughs> The old man has been known to hunt here. And slams his hand down a part of the map. It's, like, it's near an ancient shipwreck around the nearby sea caves. The sea snake is equipped with a harpoon, with harpoon guns, and I plan to lure the beast out by bloodying the water and then reeling with bolts. What say you? It was Hi. before or after we go and check the lighthouse. Are you asking him that? Uh, sure. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you ask him that? Just so, was that sure as in like, yes? <clears throat> Or a question of maybe I don't. 
Um, I addressed uh, the Kappa and... She's in, in the other room. Ah, oh, man. Okay, She's just um, on. I asked if he had heard from the woman that the Kappa was talking to about checking out the lighthouse for a missing person. So that way more ships do not end up sea wrecked. He looks at you, uh, a little, uh, a little frustrated. Uh, he's like, "I thought we already established that uh, the the lighthouse can wait. If you want to go to the mine lighthouse, go by all means, go for it. But here, we are dealing with the shark problem. He's obviously I, a uh, captain. I give a mocking <laughs> kind of salute. Sir, yes, sir. We'll we'll do that." Nice. <laughs> a little sarcastic. Okay, the, the boats aren't in danger at the moment because they've been held back uh, mm -hmm. due to the lighthouse. Um, you, you say that kind of sarcastically, or you just kind of just wave it no, on? No, I say it sarcastically. He, he kind of just he, he knows yeah, it's sarcasm, but he's wave. like, whatever, good enough. I don't care. Um, he's like, th he's here. <laughs> he's here to deal with the shark because it's been causing issue. Um, he's already done with everybody. Yeah, he's uh, he he's a very matter of fact, and uh, he, he's you know the captain of or Marios's captain. He he doesn't stand for bullshit. Um, essentially, he says, "I'm not sure if the beast will give uh, still give in, um, or we'll be able to down this beast with this basic uh, plan here." But this is what we got. Any suggestions? Okay, uh, bear with me. Let's see what I can suggest. I mean, I got flames, and I got daggers. Did you say flames? Yes. You have flames? I have control flames. I, I was going to say, I'm a fire jinsai. Or jinasi. Oh, you, you, you can, you your, your, your cantrip is produce flame. Got it. I was very confused for a yes. second. Yes, I can produce flames. Uh, she, uh, overhearing that, Kappa Mariosa begins to walk in, and, uh, the guards that were standing front, they, they do a deep bow as she walks in, she says, I'm not sure, uh, wait, I'm not so sure flames would be of help with, uh, you're fighting under, underwater, would they not? And, uh, Jisalan stands up at attention as she walks in, and she kind of waves it down. So, at ease. I suggest it might be wise to prepare fi to fight the shark beneath the waves. Hmm. Eva just kind of smirks to herself at that. He's like, I'm gonna be a crocodile again. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll take this more literally than you think. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I got I got really nothing except for daggers and like sh uh, my sword and my short bow. Um, looking at my bag of tricks, I do not have a underwater creature uh, do you, you say that out loud no i'm thinking it to myself very very loudly in my head <laughs> like oh crap mm. i don't have any animals well essentially to, uh, what she did use. is they've offered two ideas uh to take on the shark and uh i guess they're they're de they're decide you're all deciding amongst yourselves how you actually want to pursue the shark here. I can I can do form to, to form to re to oh for God's sake I can't say it properly form to G to G. Oh, thaumaturgy. Where yeah. you yeah where manifests um a minor uh, power within range. Um, he's in the water and I could use a lightning bolt to. Sap him. You want to use lightning um, underwater? I can, I can... <laughs> if we're not in it, if we're on boats, it should be fine. If our boats are grounded in the boat, we should be fine. I hope. Uh, also, <laughs> Demon, I just realized your your spells are janky. Oh no. We might have to look. Um, I, I... Looks like I we are missing some. Help the crew uh, to blood the water. 
that that was the mm. idea of Jason. Yeah. So to try to. I don't know. I can help stab the thing. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. So a thaumaturgy doesn't do anything with lightning. Okay. Uh, um. It's it's essentially uh sounds. And uh, mostly, it's mostly harmless. I went through all of that to realize that I already have fireball. So also, I just... oh, I see where you saw thunder. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw thunder. Essentially, you can make a sound like thunder. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah. I misread. So yeah, oh, good. Uh, fireball would be my best option for attack. Uh, yeah. Underwater. Underwater. Yeah. Um, th so that's a cantrip. You also have a bunch of spells that, um, you can choose from. I don't know why they're not here. Let me, I'm going to hmm. check your D&D &D Beyond character real quick. Let's see if, um, if, if they're not there, what you can do is go ahead, um, as we're playing right here, go ahead and add some spells that you're, uh, you yeah. have access to, and then we can pull them in. But I'm just going to do a quick check. Firebolt. Yeah, okay. Thunder. Okay, so it looks like you do have some spells here. Um, I don't know why they disappeared from your sheet, but I can add them. So it looks like you have uh, Thunderclap, um, which is lightning damage. Um, you have Misty Step, Fireball. Oh yeah. So, so hey, you you have some things. Okay, so we can we can add them. Uh, oh so, my god, because they're not showing up on mine. <laughs> um, let's see. So, um. Have you guys decided uh, which which uh, path you guys want to take here, or do you have any other ideas that you could offer up? Um, mold. Uh, depending, if we could get him into the shallow-ish water, I could uh, maybe mold the sand around him so that he could become beached. That's a cool idea. I like that. Um, I could essentially become a human lighter for explosive materials that we could then throw into the water. With uh, what, what burning hands. Innocent fishies. <laughs> they die for nothing. <laughs> um, I guess uh, Jason will speak up and he's like, these are all fantastic ideas, but we need to know how we're choosing to approach the beast first. Uh, uh, I gesture at the other two where I said you have any other ideas. I am completely out. <laughs> right, so the shark is clever. The shark is hungry. The shark is hungry for humans. <laughs> The shark is hungry for anything pretty much humanoid or uh, food-like to them. Uh, we need to really think about how to approach this. It's going to be difficult. Couldn't um, we just cover like a sheep in poison and drop it in the water? No. The poison would eventually just leak out. Oh, okay then, what, 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 if we, what if we were to get a sheep, give it poison, so it's in its system, then put it in the water to give to the shark. If yeah, not to kill it, if not to weaken it quite a bit. Depending on the poison, it might be able to transfer via touch as well. What if we were to we instead get a big poison bucket. the sheep? We, we literally load it up with a, so much tranquilizer. That it would knock out the shark. No. Explosives. <laughs> uh, Explosives. <laughs> I just imagine it. Explosives. We just keep coming back okay. to the sheep vendetta, don't we? Yeah, right? <laughs> Lucy just hates sheep. <laughs> it. I don't listen yet. I, I don't know Lushy why he's just going to be a thing. sheep, but I am more than happy to explode a sheep. Uh, Lucy's just going to turn back and say, it's a long personal story. And looks over towards <laughs> Ava. And just sort of like, oh, it's too soon. Too soon. But fuck sheep. 
Don't fuck sheep. Oh, this, sheep this is a horrible thing. No, we're English. We're not Welsh. Don't do that. We're English. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. My, my grandmother was Welsh. I can say that. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Anyway. I guess. I how are you guys to choosing fine. to uh, go about confronting this shark? Are you choosing to go? Uh, by Jason's idea, or are you trying to go find it in its lair? Uh, by uh, what's uh, Mariosa's idea? I was gonna say we can attempt his idea first, and then if not, we can uh, go from there. Yeah, I think the best thing to do would be make sure we have bait, make sure we have some form of poison, make sure we have anything we could need to uh, make it difficult for the shark and also make sure that we have and an the extra right ship that's about... and an extra and what? Ship that's about, uh, oh, okay. so many feet back and an extra boat following us just in case um, the Megalodon decides to uh, partake of this other ship as well Okay. Um. That that is uh, I think that's how we want to go, right? Yeah. the The ship is uh the sea snake. That's the ship that uh, Jason is recommending you guys take. Okay. A sea snake, a hydra. Nice. Uh, so that's uh, the direction you guys want to go. Yep. Correct. Okay. Is there anything you think we should do to the boat beforehand to prepare? Because it's a it's a big big old shark. Or uh, we're just going straight in. Uh, Mariosa speaks up and says, "Well, considering um oh wait, well, considering many people have come back, uh, washed ashore, uh, drowned, I would suggest finding some way to uh avoid that problem." <laughs> are, are there any uh, potion shops around? Sister Elia uh, may be able to help out with that. She might have a potential source of aid. I'd recommend okay. uh, talking to her. Also, you don't happen to know if a sh if sharks or megalodons have an aversion to any kind of food smell or uh, liquid. What do you exactly are you asking? Well, oh, you're like you're like, thinking like shark you know, repellent. Yeah, you know, <laughs> cats, cats don't like the smell of lemon, right? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Is there anything that's well known that sharks? Don't um, like? you could roll nature. Maybe you can find something out. Yeah, let's do that. What about <laughs> Eva? Since I mean, technically, she's also she would probably know since she herself likes to change into other animals possibly Ooh, 19 plus uh no 19 plus three. on a side note well now i gotta google Lushu it and eva 22. when when me and this creation died did you at least some did we did we leave any of our gold behind i mean or i'm assuming lucia took it you don't no, don't don't give me that look. I'm just assuming. What what, <laughs> yes. what, what did you take? Did you I, take gold? I was gonna say, did did they take any of our money? Because we had quite a bit of money. I was actually gonna uh move, move your guys' money over to your characters. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, which Good. I haven't done. Cool. That works for me. <laughs> Demon needs to cool. go back to the burial site anyway. That's another day. I'm looking for actual shark repellent. If that's a thing. <laughs> Dude. Is a repellent for what sharks? is shark repellent made of? Consisting of combination of copper, acetate, and colored dye. I don't think you guys have access to copper acetate. 
Yeah, no, I can't do that. Thing. <laughs> I think that's a little too advanced for the time. <laughs> I got. So we can for check. Most shark repellents seem to be like electrical pulses and stuff. Okay, can work. Can work with that. So, um, I guess the, the the question that you guys ask is met with like bewildered stares, and and Jason was like. If there were such a thing, do you not think that we'd be using it? <laughs> I, I kind of chuckled to myself about that and, and said, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah well, you know, but, you know, you're sitting on the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, we, we have to ask this question as we don't currently live near shark-infested waters until we arrived here. Yeah, I've never met a shark before. Wouldn't recommend it. Jason kind of rubs his uh, temples and is like, ah, oh, shit, what did we get ourselves into with these few? <laughs> and this time it's not even Lucy doing the, the mayhem. Um, uh, Marius just speaks up and then says, well, all right, wait, wrong quest. Well, if there are no further questions, ideas or comments, I suggest you all get a good night's sleep. We'll be leaving uh, Break of Dawn tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you then. I then invite um, Lushu, Eva, and Demon to come and get a drink with me at the before we, I get, uh, I, before I go venture towards, like, the potion shop. Yeah, I could grab a drink before, uh, sleep. Maybe we could come up with some more ideas. I'm in. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys go to the front of the bar? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, what, what kind of ale do you, you choose to have? Can I just have mm -hmm. the house favorite? Okay. Uh, the seven need. Okay. Lucio? Particular ale you're looking for? He's staring he off into uh, oblivion. Himself. Doesn't know we're talking about him. <laughs> I'm gonna Sorry, I was dealing with something. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, everyone's going to the bar for a drink. Uh, did you want to grab something? Yeah, I said, yeah, I was going, yeah. Okay. Uh, Eva, do you want something to drink? What do you want? Beer. Uh, Eva will also have mead, because that sounds really good right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, as you guys come up and you, you, uh, place your orders here, the, uh, the, the dwarven barkeep, uh, he, he begins to fill up your mugs, and uh, he looks up for some payment here, and then, but then he looks past you guys, and Mariosa waves, and uh, as she's leaving, you know, behind her, and uh, he's like, "Well, well, aren't you a lucky lot?" And he kind of pushes you guys, um, your drinks here, and says, "Seems to be on the house." <laughs> Must have made a good impression on Captain Mariosa. Kappa Mariosa. Uh, well, it's either because of two things. One, she assumes that we will end up dead after our mission. Or two, she's hopefully thinking we, we will live past this encounter. Either way, a free drink is a free drink. He kind of nods high with, uh, Possibly little column A, little column B. Nevertheless, enjoy. It's the <laughs> finest in the house. Thank you. Well needed. Um, a side note, I feel like I should ask the the barkeep about uh, the woman's husband if he has, if he knows anything about him. You ask him directly about uh, the lighthouse worker? Yes. That's a good idea. Oh, Balter! Yeah, good man, that man. <clears throat> Hello? He probably hasn't had much to do. 
the last few weeks. Uh, considering the the port's been locked down, but you know, he's ever faithful to his duty. I don't know how you can do that. Just go sit up there in a lighthouse all day, all night. But uh, maybe he takes some strange comfort in it. Is he? Is Balthar the only one that ever works the lighthouse? Uh. But of course, there only ever needs to be one. It's one shift a night. And he's only been missing what, how long? One night? As far as you guys know. Because, uh, yeah, you know, she busted in. What was her name? Uh, Mai. Mai busted in. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Anyway, could you. Uh... Point me towards the direction of the potion shop. Uh. Oh, um, you guys don't know this. Uh, so Bastion Bay is a giant, like, merchant town, too. That's a port town. Um, since it's already late at night, you probably won't be able to get anything right now. Uh, everything's probably all shacked up and closed for the night. Um, but, uh, he's usually like, if our uh, I guarantee. In, in the morning, you'd be able to find whatever you're looking for down the market stretch. Hmm. Is there anyone Too that may know anything about the hours? About... Say again, you were both talking. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll let you go first. Go ahead, Mr. Oh no, I can't remember what I was going to say, so yes, go. Um, I said, Too bad a certain goblin won't just randomly show up. You wouldn't know that. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. Um. Since everything is pretty much closed for the night, uh, I head up to my room. That's what I was gonna. You go. Um. You you guys go retire for the night? I've got one thing to ask the bar person before I retire. Sure. Uh, look around. Check that no one's listening. Um, I know you said that everywhere shuts. Um, is there anywhere that may underhandedly sell um, something I could get my hands on tonight? Uh... He kind of looks at you strangely. Like, like, a, like a black market. Yeah, yep. like a black market, because he knows that usually the stuff in the black market is on the black market for a reason, and that's it's strong and it works. He he uh, he, he chuckles. Him. <laughs> You're in Bastion Bay. This whole area is a black market. Excellent. If you could hook me up with someone or um, arrange a meeting, um, that would be... Great. We need something for tomorrow. It's of great urgency to your town. Uh, he he kind of looks at you strangely uh, because uh, this this is, this is a pirate town. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of strange doings here. He's like, I can't point you to any merchant in particular. Just make your way down the straight. Yeah. Find out what you're looking like for. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I will do that. Okay, so Is you... anyone else in the team still awake um, that wants to come with me? No, no, I was talking in the morning. I mean, you, you could try to know, you no, could no, try no. to walk around at night and see if anyone's available, but you'll probably piss them off. No, yeah, bed. <laughs> I'll go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, do you you pass out for the night? Yeah. Okay. And Corva said they are Eva, Lucio. What are you guys doing? I'm going to retire also. Okay. Yeah, same. Okay. Um, you guys uh wake up rested. Uh, Lushu, go ahead and roll a... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I forgot he was still hurt. Roll a... What did we have you? Uh, constitution. Uh, save. Or check. Whatever. Okay. They're, they're, yours are probably the same. Cool. Yep. 
That was once a twenty. God damn yeah. it. Bro. <laughs> um, you you have a. You don't feel uh, the greatest when you wake up in the morning. You, you kind of had not necessarily a restless meditation, but uh, it it's, instead of uh, just kind of being a soothing experience, it was more of like an agitation, but not too bad. It was just more of like, why why can't I, you know, meditate? Uh, you weren't you couldn't fully focus, but it didn't. You know, it doesn't uh, hamper your abilities in any way uh, throughout the day. Just a little slightly uh, annoyed, I guess you could say. Um, you guys wake up. Uh, you head out of the tavern. Um, you head to the dock as you were, uh, were instructed uh, in the morning. Uh, the docks. Oh, you know what? We need we need different sounds. See an ocean. What are we doing? Uh, here you go. This might work. There you go. The uh, so you guys head to the docks uh, th that are uh, bustling with life as soon as the noon sun blazes uh, in the sky, uh, turning the waves uh, glittering gold. Um, the giant hissing serpent uh, or a giant hissing serpent glares out from the prow of the ship that must uh, surely be the sea snake. Uh, you make your way up to the slick gangplank. And see the hulking figure of Captain or Captain, uh, Captain Jason in conversation with Kappa Mariosa. Uh, seeing you guys ab uh, aboard, Mariosa turns from Captain Jason and saunters towards you. Uh, about time, uh, she says, uh, taking your measure. Jason was about to leave without you. Uh, she she brushes past you with a smile and sways down the gangplank. Good hunting. She calls. Doesn't look back. And she uh, walks into uh, Bastion Bay. Okay, let's do this. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping things. I need to get a thing. Oh no! Come on. Um, so you you guys you board uh, the sea snake um, it's uh it's a it's a decently sized ship um, there currently can hold up to like 20 passengers um, it's seen it's got four harpoon guns um, there's uh, two on the port side uh, two starboard side um, six lifeboats uh, it has a full crew uh, no passengers uh, obviously except for you guys Um and uh, it, the the crew is obviously uh, seasoned uh, seasoned sailors, so they know what they're doing. Um, so you guys are aboard the ship. The, uh, everyone is getting ready to attempt their uh, attempt the task here. And uh, yeah, I guess they're y'all ready to set sail. Uh, what do you guys do? Well, I was hoping to go to the potion shop and see if they might have a, a potion of underwater breathing, but... Oh, you want to do that? Um, well, that wouldn't be... Well, how much? Okay. How expensive is that thing? Um, so you, you would probably take, uh, Kappa Mariosa's advice in that case to do, um, go see... Uh, Sister Ilya. Instead of a, okay. a potion shop. Uh, but that's up to you. That, that's what I shall do. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll back up uh, quickly. Uh, we'll say that's what makes it take you guys so long to show up. Um, so you go... We were just simply following her advice. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how, oh, oh, so you guys, um, fortunately, Eva and Lushu have been there. Uh, they go to, you're essentially trying to go to the Temple of Umberly to, uh, try to find Sister Ilya. Um, Eva and Lushu are already aware that, uh, the sister seems to travel across the area, so trying to track her down is, might be a little bit difficult. 
Um, but you guys end up just kind of uh, hanging out at the temple, waiting for her to return. And uh, as she shows up, um, or, or she shows up and she, you know, gestures to Eva and Lucian and says, uh, Welcome back, friends. I see you brought more company with you this time. How may I help you? Uh, hello, yes. Um, I was hoping to see uh, about getting some potions, whether they be health potions or something to aid us uh, underwater. Aid you underwater? What do you mean? Do you, uh, you wish to s swim faster? I mean, that, that probably wouldn't hurt as we are going to be facing the, the Megalodon. The, the old man. Oh dear, you're you're going to face that monster. Are you yes. sure that is wise? Uh, I'm sure that is not wise. <laughs> That's what I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we were hoping to uh, supplement the current plan that was put together by um, what was the dude's name? Just on? Yes, that guy. Um, we were hoping to put him to effect some some backups from uh, Sir Jason's plans that he had come up with. Uh, she says, "Oh dear." Well, I do applaud your bravery, and am thankful for your help in uh, putting this beast to rest. I do believe that, uh, he, something is, uh, is angering him, and, uh, he, he need, deserves to be put to rest. Let's see if I can, uh, muster up anything that could be of help. Uh, she kind of walks behind, uh, the, the temple is just a big cave by the sea, by the way. Um, and, uh, she kind of goes and, you know, picks through some very simple items and stuff to see if she can find anything that... Uh, maybe of help here. She, um, comes forward and says, I'm sorry, er. I'm sorry. Uh, I do not have much, but I am able to provide you, uh, a blessing, uh, to help, uh, strengthen your, res er. To help strengthen, uh, your resolve, uh, with your, the matter of breathing. And, uh, she kind of holds up her hand and begins doing a chant and uh, close her eyes and uh, she goes in front of each of you and does it and uh, you don't feel any different necessarily um, but Sorry, does it <laughs> breathe are we all for breathing? You say that again? I said you said resolve a breathing? Yeah it should uh, help your uh, breathing a little bit better Okay. So what make us breathe underwater? What it will do it will help us breathe stronger so that we can hold our breath for a little bit longer. Probably. Oh, okay, gotcha. Maybe. Kind of like uh, sea divers almost. Sea daggers? No, like free divers. They, they oh, free divers. Got you. Dive without oxygen tanks. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Cool, cool. Um, and when she finishes, I ask, um, what, what about, um, health potions? Do you, do you have any of those? Health potions? Um. Uh... Yes. I, I, I'm sorry. I am, I'm just the, the temple... I, I'm the priestess here. I'm the temple priestess here. All I deal with is uh, blessings and uh, praying and guidance uh, to the goddess of the sea. If you're looking for material uh, health potions, I would suggest the uh, the market further in town. Um, I po I po I say thank you. Okay. And then um. I, I gestured to, to leaving. Okay. Now, 
Are we gonna go black market route or are we gonna go down the market route? <laughs> Normal market or black market? Um. For the healing potions? Well, for not just healing potions, but um, any other poisons or etc. <laughs> for a little shoot to fill with explosives. Yeah. Well, I. Tell me what your guys are looking for, and I can tell you if it has to go black market or not. Um, I want explosives. The strongest poison you can get. The strongest poison you can get? Um, yep. you could probably find some gnarly potions or poison stuff um, in the market somewhere. Okay, then the market sounds alright then. Explosions? Mm -hmm. Or explosives? Uh, you probably have to go find some sort of, uh, like a miner, uh, miners guild people or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they regulate that shit there. Yeah, yeah that probably more trouble than what it's worth. Yeah, we'll leave it. I have some explosion spells, so we, we can be good for that. I mean, my burning hand basically says anything flammable on fire. Basically anything can be flammable. Yes, if you try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, that's that's technically arson. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the market. <laughs> to the market. Okay. Uh, so I guess you're you're looking for some poison, Ben Demon. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for some potions. Okay. Um, yeah, there there's some basic alchemy stuff there. Um, health potions are fifty gold piece. A pop. Uh, how many? How much gold do I have left? Hold on. Yeah, let's get your character open. Blah blah blah. blah. Your character has inventory. There it is. Your character has just shy of three hundred gold. You have two hundred ninety-eight. Nah. Nice. Um, I I shall take two. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, I'll just translate your stuff over to what you got here. All right, your gold, 298. There you go. And you're looking for some health potions? You want two? Yes. Health. Health. Potion. Where's potion? And and just to be sure, do they do they happen to have a uh, there it is potion of healing a potion of underwater breathing? Uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna get you these things. Potion of healing. So you have a potion of healing in your list now, and you bought two of those, right? One ninety-eight. Yes. Okay. And is there such thing as potion of underwater breathing? Or potion of water breathing, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. Breathing. Well, they have some potions of breathing. Breathe. Water breathing. Uh, those are 180 gold a pop. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they're they're very rare. I mean, it's a backup. You want one? Yes, I will take the, just the one. All right, you have 18 gold. <laughs> Potion of water breathing. All right, oops. And it lasts for an hour. So. Awesome. There's that. Inventory. All right, Potion of water breathing. Add that to your sheet. Oh, come on. There you go. Cool. 
So you have a potion of water breathing. Uh, did anyone else want to buy anything? Um, poison. Uh, okay. What kind of, I guess, what are you looking for with the poison? Uh, no, I'm looking for something that will, um, that is digestible or it is poisonous by touch. So if I put something on it, let's say if I put uh, some poison on meat, would, you know, would that work um, if it was eaten? Now, side note, mm -hmm. uh, looking at my equipment, I have a poisoner's kit. Can I enhance whatever potion she buys? Uh, let's look at the poison. Poison incl includes vials, chemicals, and other equipment necessary for the creation of poisons. Proficiency with this kit lets you add your proficiency bonus to the ability checks to make use of crest these poisons. So it's feasibly, Corva could create poisons. You just need items. Um, so there's there's some poisons that Corva could make. Uh, essentially, they do a little bit of poison damage. Um, as long as the creature, uh, fails its save, it doesn't look like there's any sort of, uh, very intense poisons that are available, uh, that, I mean, you could try to make them, uh, stronger. Um, otherwise you have to apply them to, like, uh, a weapon and try to, you know, uh, inflict poison with or a weapon. Like a poison dogs, yeah. Et Something okay. like that. Well, uh, I mean, that might file, help with our weapons. Even if it helps slow him down, um, I, I could go for a couple of files of that. Okay, um, so every uh, poison vial to apply to weapons is 10 gold a pop. Let's get uh, your translate your characters. Uh, money over. Where is Echo? Echo. You had... Oh, boy. Inventory. We had 290 gold, 75 silver. Okay, I will take. Oh, what was my silver? Oh, uh, you had none. You had 298 I gold. I had... Interesting. I'm going to take eight. You're going to take eight of those potions? Yeah, because that's two each. Okay. Uh, so, and I said, so that's 80, so you'll be at two. 210 gold, uh, and you have eight assassins potions now. Nice. Yeah. Eight, eight of those. And so essentially, uh, to use that, um, you apply it to either a melee weapon or, uh, like an arrow. And, uh, if you do, uh, the next, within the next 10 minutes of use, um, it can apply poison to any creature it hits. Um, as long as they fail uh, their constitution, so save. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, so that's how you can do that. In terms of like a drinking poison, there's a lesser effect, but uh, there there is some of those. Now, do I have to pay in order to to make the poison for myself to use? You have to what? Do I have to pay to to use a po potion? No, um, that's if you're buying it from this person. Um, if you were going to okay. get the, I don't know, the herbs or whatever to make it, it would be slightly cheaper. Like, we'll say, yeah. like, six gold a pop or something. Seven gold. Uh, here all the but it would take time uh, to make it all, of course. I will go ahead and get two vials worth of herbs for that. Two vials worth of herbs, so, um, you'll be, so, minus 14, so you have four gold left? Yep. Okay. Um, so, sure, you can, uh, make some, uh, you make two vials of Assassin's Potion. Oop. With, uh, the herbs, it takes some time, obviously, to break down the herbs and, uh, Make it sure it all works, and you're actually uh, roll a. Uh, what's the skill? What's the skill check for that? Um, because you have a poisoner's 
kit, right? What was it called? Mm hmm Yeah. Pois poisoner's kit. Oh, I'm on demon. Demon. No wonder it didn't work. Um... How come I don't... Oh, poisoner's kit. How does this work? It doesn't tell me. Um... Okay, so you're not proficient in it, uh, but go ahead and roll a d20. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. so you, you, uh, you're you able to successfully make two of the potions. Um, it takes you about an hour, hour and a half to get two vials out of the the uh, number of herbs and stuff that you got. Um, but it seems like uh, the, the potion or the poison would work just fine. Sounds sounds good. Uh, Lushu, Eva, uh, y'all need anything while we're here? I'm all good. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything. No right. health potions. Y'all good on those? Oh yeah, you guys don't. Uh, okay. I I still have three, so I should yep. be fine. Yeah, I have a <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a couple. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I've, I've got a health spell as well. Bless you. Let's see. Yeah, I got two health potions. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, so I guess now we can head towards the, the sea snake. Okay. Uh, we've <laughs> wasted a lot of time. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, that's what that's why, why you guys are late to the sea snake, so... Okay, I'm but um, so we'll we'll fast forward up to the you know you walk on on the the ship and stuff and uh, the the sea snake uh, begins to head towards uh, the area where uh, the the ancient shipwrecks are. Um, we're gonna change the the sounds here a little bit because you're no longer on harbor. You will be in. Uh, like that you guys are just sailing away I'm sailing away um, as, we're, as we're sailing off I'm gonna uh, throw two um, of the poisons to everyone each so that they can start preparing their weapons as it takes 10 minutes it doesn't take 10 minutes to apply it it lasts 10 minutes ah Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'll still give them to them anyway. Great. Give me a second so I can move those over. Items, Assassin's Poison, Lushu. You get... Oops. Inventory. Boop. So you have two. Boop. And then an ability. Poison. Uh, Lushu, Eva. I don't know how Eva's gonna do it. Well, your weapon would work, but if you transform, I don't think it'd work anymore. It's a emergency backup yep. at this point. <laughs> Put it on your staff and bonk him in the head. You're right. Mm -hmm. The world's most dangerous bonk, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. I mean, it is a dangerous boot the snoot at that point. Yeah. Also true. I, right. I wonder if we can punch the shark. Okay, <laughs> just punch it really hard. You kind of <laughs> yep. give everyone some uh, the poisons here. Um, you guys are as you're sailing along um, the, the splintered coastline of the shipyard, uh, coupled with uh, rocks hidden just below the wave. Uh, waves has resulted in uh, demise of uh, in innumerable ships over the years. Um, they uh, they're making the, the, the the pirates and smugglers uh, of the uh, the former uh, Bastion Bay of their uh, that have made the Bastion Bay their home have used a ser series of secret signs and markers to avoid uh, the wicked bite of the rock formations uh, that is around this area. Um, so uh, the the Captain Jason and uh, the fellow crewmen are able to, with ease, make their way uh, through these tumultuous tide or tumultuous tides here. Um, and uh, the 
the history uh, here is uh, that many pirates would use this area as a, an escape route for uh, pursuers and stuff um, that were not aware uh, of the danger. So that's why there's so many ships here um, that I fell to the rocks. Uh, ships full of pirates were known to watch and cheer uh, from a safe location as vessels that pursued them uh, tore themselves apart on the rocks and were swallowed by the waves. Uh, but the strait is as deadly today as it was years ago, uh, but is now clearly marked by brightly uh, painted buoys that are lit at night by the, the candle keeper, um, it's, which is a, just an old sailor from Bastion Bay. Uh, the, wreck the wreckage and ruins of countless ships that broke apart uh, here still lie in the coast. Um, their jagged, dra jagged and splinted masts are jutting up from the waves uh, like bones of a corpse. Um, you guys are beginning to approach uh, the group um, or sorry, uh, you're, you're not beginning to approach, uh, a, a fellow, uh, crewman, uh, begins to approach you guys by the name of Dendrick. Um, and he kind of goes, so, have any of you ever hunted at sea before? Or any of you have any experience with crossbows? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I have, I have experience with a crossbow. Very good. Um, and he he and he points over uh, to one of the harpoons guns. It's like you'll be stationed over there. And he he, he just points to uh, one of the the harpoon guns. It, it's just like a very large crossbow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I uh I walk over that way then. Okay. What about the rest of you? Um, didn't you say the ship had multiple uh, of them? There's four. There's four. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take up station at one of them and. Yeah. I I don't know if you're proficient in crossbow. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's a point. Forget I, I'm a different. Yeah, you'll need to. Uh, in order to use them, you either have to be proficient in crossbows, or. Uh, Proficient in uh, harpoon guns. Uh, you're proficient in light crossbows. So sure, yeah, you can you can do it. Okay, sweet. Um, he's like, what about you two? And he point gestures to uh, Lucio and Eva. <laughs> Define hunting at sea. <laughs> I have proficiency in hand crossbows. Yeah. Uh, I do not have any proficiencies for those, though. I just checked. Okay, um, so Lucia, you speak up, it's, it's essentially volunteered a man, another one of the, the harpoon sure. guns. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm down. Hmm. Volunteer. Feel free to take a station. Don't you need volunteered? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I'm using that, that's in my dictionary now. Eva, you say, you said how to define combat at sea? Very, very quietly under her breath, but she just basically looks up at him and says, uh, consider me your support under the water. Uh, he looks bewildered and is like, What good is being underwater gonna do? Bang. Turned into a crack bow. Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could if it were, you know, if she were any, you know what, if she were chaotic neutral, she probably would just to hopefully scare him, but she's not gonna do that. <laughs> um,. <laughs> So how how do you respond then? Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of how snarky she would be about it. Um, she basically just like says, "I, mm, man," making a reference back to when they signed up for going out to do this. She just reiterates. Uh, I did say that my skills were unique. Or her skill set, sorry. Uh, okay, so this is a new person. He's not aware of that. He's like... Oh, okay. <laughs> he essentially say, I am not aware of your skills. I need, to make, I need you to make sure that you can pull your weight here. Now, what can you offer? What assistance can you offer? Speak up, either that or you're going to be a hindrance and we're just going to put you down de down deck. 
<laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna pop wild shape then. I'll yeah. just sit around and bask on the deck until shit goes uh, down, honestly. Are you actually turning into an alligator right now? You know what? Yes, I am because he's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, he goes, like By the gods! Oh, fucking. And then he just turns and walks away. Like, I'm just fucking getting paid enough for this bullshit. And he just kind of just walks off. The closest thing uh, to a crocodile laugh that you can hear is. is <laughs> <laughs> literally. All right. Um, I, uh, I turn around at the interaction and I'm laughing super hard. Uh, yeah, you guys have not seen Eva transform yet. So, <laughs> you, are you just kind of taken aback then, Corva, and then you just start busting up laughing? Is that what you're doing? Back because I have seen similar while working for the Thieves Guild. Okay. Uh, Titan's hand. So I'm not concerned about her wild ship. I'm more. I'm more entertained that she decided to be petty. Okay. Um, I so think her capacity for BS is just lower these days. Yeah, I, I, I could do uh, see the pettiness that I'm going I'm to respect it and just go, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. <laughs> You just kind of look over at Lushu's reactions, like, oh, he's 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 not bothered by it. I yeah, guess it's I've, normal. I've seen, the, <laughs> I've seen Eva shapeshift before, so I've right. But the, but the other players are like, what the fuck? Game, Why is he? Oh, yeah, he's not reacting. Yeah. He's used to it. Yeah. I mean, bears can also <laughs> swim, but not yeah. quite as well. They they bear yeah. paddle. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so the uh, Dendrick just kind of walks off in a feat of like, what the fuck. He's like, well, whatever, whatever, figure something out to do here. Um, uh, Jason and Dendrick, um, are, see, or Jason seems to be more than happy for volunteers to man the harpoons, considering the the rest of the the crew are needed to secure the ship. Um, the sea snake uh, makes its way out to open water. Uh, it's weaving through the jagged rocks with ease. Uh, after about an hour or so, uh, Captain Jason calls for the crew to drop anchor uh, and prepare the bait. Um, at this, uh, a number of small deckhands uh, disappear below deck, and they return a few minutes later uh, with two squealing pigs. Uh, the, the pigs' throats are slit, and the, the bodies are pushed into uh, simple wooden cages fixed with ropes, which are then tossed over the port and starboard sides. Uh, with the bait set, uh, Dendrick calls for the men to make ready. Uh, the crewmen are stationed. Um, you guys are stationed, or, well, I guess one crewman is stationed at the unmanned harpoon. The rest of you are stationed at the ones that you chose. Uh, more sailors armed with crossbows are positioned to the fore and aft and each side of the ship. Uh, and now, and uh, Jason says, and now we wait. You guys just sitting in and waiting. Listen. We do. Yeah, just sitting <laughs> listening. Yep, just waiting yep. for the. You uh, over the the course of a little some time here, you feel some uh, juts of the ship kind of boom every now and then, and and uh, your kind of heart skips a beat for a second, uh, but it seems to be just uh, normal waves. Uh, coming in contact with the the ship, um, the uh, the blood has begun to soak the waves and is, is spreading, and it seems that there's uh, the, the 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 crew's tensions are beginning to die down because uh, there it seems like the shark may not be coming. Uh, the the sails sway gently in the calm sea breeze as you watch the waters around. Uh, the sea snakes slowly turn uh, red. Uh, the crewmen, um, s s a little more at ease, are still staring nervously at the churning waters, uh, shifting restlessly from foot to foot. Um, um, you know, 20, 30 minutes pass, uh, just as, uh, just, just as it feels like the bait was uh, all for nothing, uh, a shadow begins to grow beneath the waves. Uh, suddenly, a mouth filled with hundreds of razor-sharp teeth erupts from the sea, devouring the dead pigs, cage and all, in a single monstrous bite. 
Roll for initiative. <laughs> what time is it? It's 4:30. Um, let's ask UK folks because it's 4:30. Usually, combat takes like 40 minutes or an hour. Yeah, it's it's half past 11 for us. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, and Woof. I got to be up to go. See our our combat tracker for next time to see where we start. Um, uh, we can. I mean, I, mean, I don't roll rolling. Yeah, yeah you, you can roll if you want. Yeah. But yeah, I, plus it's fun to leave on a, a cliffhanger. So, go. Cool. Oh, look at those pink dice. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, uh. <laughs> Corvette, how did? Oh, I, my, the, my brain was not linking the characters up properly, and the combat tracker was what was rolled. But yeah, um, so you guys have rolled initiative. You do not know uh, what else is happening here, but you will be under attack again, once again with a uh, giant monstrous shark trying to nom all your faces, and hopefully none of you get, you know, murdered. Nom nom nom. Yeah, don't get numb. Oh, be so pissed. Oh, <laughs> <creating> this character. <laughs> All right, my friends. Um, I guess we'll call it here uh, so everyone can get to sleep and that need to get to sleep. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing after this. I might play some games or something later, but um, hopefully we'll be able to pick up. Oh, wait, uh, Pancake, you said you're not going to be here next week, so I'm going to have to play your character. Uh, maybe I'll... I'll talk with you afterwards or something or later uh, throughout the week on maybe some things that decisions and stuff that your character can make so I can understand how they play a little bit better. Um, but other than that, hopefully we'll uh, progress, see what's going to be happening soon. Um, anything from you guys? All good. Nope. Yeah, we'll to the combat next time. Rocco? Hell yeah. Well, thanks for playing, guys. Um, I guess we'll call it here. Everyone in Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, I guess we'll catch you all next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. Switch to that screen here. Close that. All right. My friends over on the Twitch lands. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Um, man, a lot of, lot of role play, which is fine. I like role play. Role play is fun. Um, we're going to find out uh, more stuff with next week, I guess. Jaden, uh, want them cookies? Hey, you. Hey, you. go cookies. You can't, you can't see because... Obviously, we're using the doggo cam for uh, you guys that are playing. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. See what's going to happen here. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I should probably do some clip stuff making, but I also kind of don't want to because I'm getting lazy with all that. Um, maybe I'll pop on again in like an hour or something. Maybe see, um, play some games. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. We are Quarantine. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on, Jay, let's go party. Let's go party. I gotta go pee. Let's go. <laughs>